All right, so I'm taking a look at this river to make some, hopefully make some beaver sets. I took a look at this last year when beaver trapping wasn't open and I found a bunch of sets I could have made where beavers were coming up on shore right on this bank where I could have made a bunch of bank sets. But I was checking this out last year for coon and I didn't really find much coon sign out here. This area was underwater all summer, so it might have changed a lot since I was last year. Last year. But I remember when I was walking the shore, I found a bunch of like crossovers where they're coming up on shore, like beaver slides and stuff. But you could set some 330s or some footholds. So I'll start walking the shore, see if I can find some decent sets. And I'll show you the spots where I might be setting if I find any sets to make. Here we got a nice crossover. See there's a lot of beaver using it. They're coming from the main river out here. You can see their trail going back. Looks like there's a little bit of water up there. We'll take a look. It's not deep enough to make a set there, so we'll take a look where it goes into this little area of water. See if it's see if we're able to make a set up here somewhere maybe. That one's well used. Yeah, this looks like a really damn good spot. Look at that. It's not too deep, but you could get the set made. Traps only gotta be halfway underwater. Could even put a foothold here, possibly if it's deep enough to drown them out there. This looks like a really good spot that Otter might be using too. So I'll definitely get a set made there. I haven't been finding as many sets as I was last year, mainly because this whole area was flooded over the summer. But that spot I'll definitely set. See, there's another area where they're coming up on shore, see if there's any spot they're going on down from the water. You can see how it's so wet compared to it's all beat down. Definitely, we're just using this. Yeah, it's just way too shallow out here to make a set, but hopefully we'll find some more spots along the way. I haven't really noticed any rat sets. I brought a couple 110s, hoping I would find some bank sets. Take a look at this one too. Really well used. Just a straight drop down there though. Pretty hard to set right there. Let's take a look where this leads. This little area where it's all flooded out looks like that's where they're all mainly going. I don't know if I'll be able to make a set for this. I don't know how deep this, see they're all coming out right here. Fresh beaver stick there. Yeah, I wonder why they're coming back here. There's another tree. I'll just keep walking the shoreline. I'm finding lots of places where stuff is coming up on the shore, but it's probably, some of the smaller ones is probably mainly coon or whatever else. Coming up to a little sandbar, a little cut in here. Take a look what we got down here. Looks like we got some coon tracks. Those are probably some mink tracks. Yeah, a few coon tracks. A few coon tracks. So there's more coon tracks over there. 
hoping I'd, this thing would be like a little channel here I could set, but. Got another spot where they're coming up. This one actually looks like I might be able to set that with like a foothold, possibly a 330. Tons of beaver chewings and stuff going on there. It's like a sandbar up here too. A little water cut in another one. Let's see what there is for tracks here. Looks like there's like a good slide there. Beaver tracks all over this. More coon. Oh, that looks deep. Wish, I, wish these little cut-ins were nice channels I could set, though. Have to see if there's anything going on with the sandbar up here, if there's a bunch of tracks on it. Yeah, I'm just not finding as many sets as I did before when I was looking at this last year. I mean, there's just tons of these little areas where they're coming up, but a lot of those aren't even settable, really. Another spot there. Yeah, let's go take a look at this sandbar. There's a spot. This doesn't really look like beaver. It's so narrow, though, a lot of these things. Could be otter, could be coon, mink, muskrats, anything. But definitely doesn't look like it's beaver. Looks like there's a bunch of coon tracks on that sandbar. Go head out and take a look at that. It's looking like only coon tracks, so. Coon and more mink. Hopefully I find some more decent sets. Here's another spot there, but not really able to set that. No way to drown them and not a real good spot to set a 330. All right, so I empty out some stuff from the slide I put in the boat for now. I'm just gonna go walk the shoreline over here, try to make a few sets. For now, I'll just bring three 330s and the two footholds. So, and if I need more traps, I'll just come back. I didn't bring any beaver trap or coon traps today, mainly because I didn't find much for sign last year, but Looks like there's quite a bit, so I'll probably bring some buckets tomorrow. But I'll go find some spots for these, and I'll show you the sets. This is this nice crossover set that I showed you earlier. I got it set right there, right at the end of it. Put a stick over top, so hopefully they don't climb over because it is pretty shallow. But this should be a guaranteed. I might put another one up here too. But it's nice and narrow, like possibly a lot of otter might be using it. That'd be pretty sweet if we can catch that. All right, so we got this other slide here. Got 330 stuck in there. Put a stick over this one too, since it's only halfway underwater. But hopefully it'll go through there. It's a lot of beaver sticks and everything here, so. It should come through here. All right, so I might set a foothold over here. I'm gonna take a look at a spot. Not find as many spots as I'd like, though. So. Definitely have to get some coon sets out tomorrow. But let's go take a look at setting a foothold over here. Well, I wasn't able to make a foothold set there. I was gonna do it, but because it's really deep, I couldn't wait it, but I'm at this spot where they're coming up a lot. There's not really anywhere to, that you can possibly set a 
3.30. So I think I'm gonna put a foothold somewhere out here. Make a caster mount set. That looks deep enough. I might put it right on that point there where they come in. Yeah, I'll put it right here and I'll show you the set. I got that caster mount set made. Got a nice pile of leaves up there. I put the Sweetwater flat tail caster bait up there and I also put some Lennon's otter just in case if an otter's coming by. Be nice to catch an otter. But I think I'll walk down that way and take a look at some making some sets hopefully. All right, so I walked this whole bay. Walked some of the shoreline out there. Figured I'd probably find some muskrat sets, but I didn't see anything going on. So all I'm gonna have set today is the four beaver sets. It's definitely not gonna be a real big trap line, but those sets are definitely pretty good sets, I think. Tomorrow I'll get some coon sets out though because there's quite a few coon running around it looks like. I'll probably just set bucket sets mainly instead of dealing with dog proofs. But this will be end of day one river trapping for beaver and coon. I'll trap some coon tomorrow so Stay tuned, watch my check videos, trap and check videos. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.